Hi guys, as you see I'm holding a yellow crooknut squash which I just harvested out of the next bed which I'm going to show you soon. This is Hope from Cedaholic Gardens. But we just wanted to show you a little closer up of this bed where the spaghetti squash are growing on. There's all kinds of tomatoes on back there as you see. Here's some eggplant. They're still small but they'll get bigger. All kinds of peppers over here. I mean loaded up this plant is even though it's small. Here, here. Um, that's jalapeno. Don't know what that one is exactly, but I'm going to eat it and find out. And the spaghetti squash are turning buff. You see there's a lot of green still on them, so they got another month at least. But I am going to show you something I forgot about. I can't remember if this is... Ow. <laughs> we just ran into each other. <laughs> Hope that didn't get on video. <laughs> but I'm going to harvest this for you guys because I think this is... I can't remember if that's turnip or rutabaga, but I'm going to find out. But I thought the leaves are so gorgeous, I'm going to eat those in my salad tonight. Whatever it is. Don't remember. You know I never put a lot of steaks in, but I'm going to turn camera guy around in this bed and show you how big this Desi squash I didn't show you last week is. Sorry about the ambulance. Can't help that. It's down in here. Mm -hmm. And then the one I did show you last week now has about four on the plant. So like I said, there's going to be lots of squash to share. There's the one I showed you last week here. Here's another. Here's another. Here's another. There's another. I mean, they're just loaded up in there. Then, on camera guy's side down there, the tomato that we tied up, they're starting to redden off. He's um, pulling shard out of the way, but I'm going to harvest that for tonight's supper a little bit. Can I give you that soon? Okay. And then... um. You got a little basil there. Take a little bit of that for the salad, hun. And this pepper that we got out of the shade has got, um, oh gosh, a couple nice sized peppers on it. This is a bell pepper and it didn't size up yet, but we had a bunch of rain today. And these um, little Thai hot chilies still didn't size up, but they're getting a lot redder. And we're getting some eggplant over here too. And then the real prize taker is almost all of our peppers here sizing up and they're winter sown. Those tomatoes are winter sown. I don't know what this potato leaf one is, but I'm hoping Trinity's watching this and he can tell you guys because I believe these are seeds I got from him. He gave me so many cool seeds. I tried to plant everything. And I believe on this squash plant there are... Um, Ooh, ah, I'm going to take one of those off. I know they're small, but I'm going to take one off anyway. I don't know what those are. Hope you can tell me about that too, Trinity and Angel. I'm calling on help. And as you can see, these plants are all just loaded with tomato starts. What um, do you attribute the growth on this? Well, we had a bunch of rain recently, and then rain followed by heat. Rain followed by heat. And over here, I got some more spaghetti squash to get out of here. Or not spaghetti, what do you call them? yellow crooknecks. I know I've got at least one more in there that's almost ready. I'm going to leave those on another I could do babies, but I've got a couple of... This one looks... Okay, take it. You, uh, that'll be supper. Um, a friend of ours gave us some ping pong long Saturday when we volunteered at the pantry garden so those squash and those eggplant will go together. So, as you can see, even though it's almost October... Ooh... <laughs> I'm going to fry some green tomatoes, y'all. I know they're not big, but I'm going to fry them up anyway. Or chop them and roast them. Do you them. know what type that Ooh. is? Nope. <laughs> I couldn't read any of my signs. So this year, I got the plastic um, signs for my markers. And I got a garden marker, which they say resists um, fading from sun and also from water. Everything I had was either wood or plastic and everything either washed off or watch out purpose behind you mm -hmm. washed off or um faded too much so i am going to take this one tomato because it's almost red i'm going to let it ripen on the counter did you get a little basil not yet okay i'll get some then Get a little bit more shard. Say good night, Gracie. And <laughs> okay, the boss says I gotta go now, but I want to get a couple jalapenos. But anyways, guys, 
as always, blessings to bow. Oh, bleh. Woo. Somebody teach me to speak English because apparently I don't. Okay, guys, happy gardening as always. Blessings of bounty and may your gardens always bring you joy. Mine certainly does for me. See you guys next time.